What do you notice first about a girl? What are some ics? Who should make the first move? How do you know if you are in love with a girl? Hi, so my name is Valeria and this is... Hi, I'm Isabella. I'm Pablo. I'm JP. And today, Isabella and I are going to be asking guys questions that girls are too afraid to ask. The first question is, nice and easy, what do you notice first about a girl? Ooh, that's a good one. You go first. Mm, it's going to be her smile, 100%. If she's laughing, nice. and if she's all cute, smiling, yeah, it has to be. Um, yeah. yeah, I put it more in a perspective of like, I think half and half. I think like, obviously you want a nice personality first, like when you meet her, but I also look at like, looks. If I, like, if she's attractive to me, then I'll just be like, yeah. Honest? Yeah. <laughs> Would you say that that changes as you get to know the girl more? Mm. Or um, the first time you meet her, that, you know, it's just mm. what you look at her? I think... Obviously, it'll probably change over the time once you keep getting closer and closer because then you, it's a relationship, so mm. you're like you're, you're like more confident and like with that person. So you, you just and you kind of like got to know her over the time. So obviously, it's gonna change. You're gonna start looking at other stuff. So I feel like it depends on what you do, and I feel like as you get to know them, you do more activities, you do go out more mm. places, and then she shows herself a bit more. Then you, you she might get angry and now you want you looking at other things. <laughs> when she's sad, you're looking at other things, yeah. Interesting, so going off that, what are some icks that girls give you? Mm. Oh, smoke. Yeah, you don't like girls <laughs> that smoke? Smoke, okay, done. okay. That's it, no I'm smoking, out of there. I'm getting out with drugs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like alcohol, if she relies on, on alcohol, like, no. Mm. So you don't want someone who's dependent, dependent on, you know, like other a stuff, substance, yeah, got like, it. Like mm -hmm. they can be just be themselves without like having to like consume anything. Or, yeah, just be themselves and yeah, that's what I want to get to know that person as as she is. Yeah, interesting. I'm gonna say, mm, I'm gonna say someone that's a girl that's too friendly with everyone. Because if you treat me one way and then you treat my brother the next way and then you treat my my father friend the next way, it's not special. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You're just, it, you know what I mean, it just it doesn't do it for me. Whereas if there's a girl where she's treating you one way and it's like, yeah, she doesn't chat to anyone else that way, then yeah, I'm there, but... 100%. Yeah, if I see you smiley, smiley, touching, touching with everyone else, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Who should make the first move? The girl or the guy? Guy. The guy. <laughs> well, to be fair. That's mm. what I used, that's what I'm used to, that's what I'm used to seeing, that's the story that I was told when I was younger. That's what I'm used to kind of doing, so I feel like that's, that's what she... Granted, I'm not saying like a girl can't, but... I, it, like you know, if it was my situation, that would be me doing the first move. Yeah. Plus, I like, I mean, it's not not to be like um, obviously not putting men over over women, but I think like we have different attributes in the relationship. So, for example, me as a Christian, like, obviously I feel like um, they 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 man to also um be like a guidance and like the guy that that supports and like works. Anyone can work, but I'm gonna say that like, he's the one that's there for the more um. Like, I don't know, fiscal and like difficult situations and the girl mm. is the one that is like, more emotional, the one that mm. um, guides us and comforts you and, and, and supports you. So it's like different roles. So yeah, I think that the man should take the lead and be the, like be that man which the lady wants to feel protected by. Actually, yeah, in addition to that as well, if you're the guy, if you're making the first move, I feel like you've got a chance to kind of set your intentions. Do you know what mm. I mean? Like, this is what I'm trying to do. This is why I see you in this way. I like you, I want to be more than friends kind of thing. Let me, let's chat. Let's like, you know, let's see where this goes. I want to take you out kind of thing. And then again, nothing is unsaid, you know, like you've said what you need to say. Then the ball's in her court. How would you show a girl that you like her? Very, isn't it? It varies with every girl. Affectionate and like, too, like, you know, too physical. Other girls like the whole, you know, extravagance. Some girls just like a cheeky nanda, isn't it? So. <laughs> So, maybe that's a depends on the love language, I guess. Yeah, yeah, say. for sure. I feel like you that'd be friends, close friends first, and then you get to know them, mm. see what they like, see you know what is it that they yeah. that they're a fan of. If they like to go go kart, if they like to do this activities, then I take her to go kart and I take her to do her favorite stuff and be like, yo, I can't lie to you, I like you, know. <laughs> and then yeah, for sure. No, I agree. I agree. It's, it's yeah. Over time, you get to know them, and then after you pick up the qualities, and then obviously you will know what to do and act act on it. Mm. So when do you know that you like a girl? When do you tell her I like you? Or when do you tell yourself I like her? Mm -hmm. 
Ooh. Thinking faces. <laughs> I think. Well, you, you I, I have no answer for this yet. I'm so, thinking. So oh, I think, in, in my opinion, I feel like a time varies. Like you can't put a time on it. Like, but for example, like let's say um, in my personal relationship, uh, it was like in the first couple of dates. Like yeah, I, I would know because if I was gonna get in a relationship, is on eyes of like marriage. Like mm. I'm gonna get married to that person. Like not saying yes, I'm gonna get married hundred percent. But I was like, I'm gonna strive towards that. Like I said, like we said before, I set the goal, and then the girl decides to pursue it. If she wants to pursue it, then yeah. So I think yeah, couple of couple of dates, and then but if there's somebody that you don't know that much and you're not sure, then probably just take longer. And, and at the end, it's probably not the right one for you if you had mm -hmm. to take too long. That's true. Yeah, I feel like me me personally. It's more a case of if I all of a sudden like think of you and then all of a sudden I can't stop thinking about a certain day and I'm like, mm, this isn't normal. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, okay, then I start looking into it. I'm like, oh, do I like this girl? But then if I if I want to spend time with you and then all of a sudden us spending five hours together for like 30 minutes, I'm like, oh, now I want to spend more time with her. Like all these little kind of little factors are the things that kind of I look at in it. But again, there's no time. Sometimes some people find their love in like a week and they get married in like six months. When it's too long. So when is it like, you know, JP, you mentioned like, if it's too long, then you know, it's like, no, when, when is that? If you're in a talking stage for more than six months, I feel like you should question mm -hmm. what's happening. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like if you've not time. decided to make this girl your girl, or as a girl, you haven't decided to, you know, mm -hmm. go for this guy, why? Like what's pushing you back? What's, what's resistance? 100%. Where's the resistance? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, is it because he doesn't treat his mum in a certain way? Or is it because she's not, you know, too family friendly or she's not respect? Or like, wherever it is, find it, do you know what I mean? Because six months is a long time, half a year. Yeah. So even if he's shy or he's out outgoing or whatever, if he's comfortable with you, he'll just he might even slip up and let you know like, ah, oh, I like you. Oh wait, I wasn't meant to say it, whatever, whatever. <laughs> like, you know, it's if it, it's all about being comfortable, innit? Mm -hmm. If you spend six months, you're not comfortable, boy. <laughs> but do guys make up scenarios about girls that they like before they go to bed? I don't know. Or like at any time of the day, do they make up scenarios too? Tell us. Sure. I think really? I'm 100. Like, I'm, I'm planning the dates. I'm like, oh. I'm thinking. Oh, I remember she told me she likes this. All of a sudden, I'm going Google for like an hour. Oh. Then I'm like, I'm in bed. I'm like, oh, yeah. Imagine if we were doing this. Yeah, or the mm. ideal date and whatever. Yeah, 100. percent Yeah, me hugging the pillow. And that. It? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys stalk girls' social media pages? Same. Man. Really? FBI. I mean, in, a, in an appropriate way. Just Most like, yeah, but. Well, Hand, like, yeah, most guys, hundred percent, just appropriate and appropriate. But you should, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. How much do you scroll? Because mm. us girls, we go all the way back to two thousand and nine. Yeah, do you guys do that? Oh, better simply said that the whole <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going on the page. I'm looking at her, seeing what she's posted, her aesthetic. If I'm loving the way she dresses, all of that. Well, and then I find myself like just scrolling down in it. But I won't go into cousins and family members. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's, yeah, the same. I mean, if you look at the, if you look at Instagram, then you're looking at her appearance. Mm. So there's no personality where it's like mm. you're looking at her appearance straight away. So you kind of like wanna wanna remind yourself of that image that you had, or, or probably if you don't know her, then that's basically the first, um, the, the first time you've seen her. So mm. it's just like, wow, like who is this person? Oh, she does this. Oh, she likes this. Oh, she said this. So it's like in the caption. So it's, yeah guys like that when girls Ooh. like make the first move or express their feelings first mm -hmm. i must i must say yes you know i can't lie i mean more times than not if a girl moves to a guy the guy's gonna end up saying yes like Aww. if i feel like girls are quiet when they know what they want they'll also go for it do you know what i mean it's not just guys and then when if the girl if the guy's taking too long he's again he's been that shy guy but if, if she makes the move he'll probably be like yeah you know what like yeah. i do like it but if it was me I love it, but I would also want to like no intentions. Do you know what I mean? Is this is this hot? Mm. Like you know, fast paced. Like yeah. you've only been speaking for a week, and all of a sudden you're saying you like mm. me. Like what's going on, kind of thing. I want to mm. make a conversation rather than just say, "Oh, you told me this, and it's a no or a yes." You know? Mm. Yeah, understand the root of it. Hmm. Hundred percent. If the girl says it straight away, and and the guy says like no, then then obviously that's that's a like. If you don't feel the same way towards that girl, then at least you can tell her and not leave her own. Mm -hmm. So then both, then nobody will be hurt. So I think that's that's important that 
and it's no bad if the girl does a first move if you like her then man you, you got it like, that's it like, like she just saved you work yeah. she just saved you work and then 100%. now you can use that energy towards that relationship mm -hmm. like knowing that purpose whereas like if you if you're not sure and she made made the move then you just like, right, then, then just leave her and then and then the girl can actually move on yeah. and then nobody will be attached or what do girls do that guys find attractive then they're up for anything i mean up for anything in a way like like they let's say you're on a date and you're going out to like um let's say i don't know a place like Trocadero, like, like, mm. like, 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 play games. Like, she's, she's fun. Okay, she's okay. out there. Yeah. Like, like, she's like, yeah, come, let's do that. Come, let's do that. And, and, like, yeah, like, she's like your, your best friend. Like, mm. if you're gonna be with a girl, she should be basically like your boy kind of yeah. type of thing because like she's the one that is gonna be the closest to you mm -hmm. so then she should know you and then she should okay. be like you know let's go let's do it oh you want to do that let's do that so it's like that communication and that, that that being confident and comfortable around each other and yeah that's the main thing 100 yeah. percent. Yeah, i like to go out and i like to do stuff i like to play pool i like to do yeah. going out to different restaurants i feel like if she's adventurous yeah that's what i like do you know what i mean someone that doesn't just stay to what she knows in it like if i'm going to a lebanese restaurant i'm not trying to get the same kebab i'm always getting i'm trying to get <laughs> Yeah. Different things, you know, like a way to show me something new. Yeah, let's do it. Come, let's all get it. Like, I feel like that's the kind of thing that I love about a girl. Like if she tries, if she tries to learn something that has my heart, oh. like if, if it's like, oh, I don't know how to do this, but it's fine, I'll try it. Like, I'm gonna try it. Like, teach me. Mm. Oh my god, yeah. When you're in the talking stage of a girl, sometimes girls can wait like the time to they respond to a guy, so they're gonna be like, oh, he just replied, let me leave it like 10 minutes, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys wait to respond to girls too? Or, Time it sometimes. Yeah. Oh my god, no! <laughs> but yeah, do you guys wait to respond to girls' messages as well? Or? It's a talking stage. Talking yeah, stage, only yeah. talking stage because in a relationship, you yeah. only really do that. Nah, even talking stage. I feel like if I'm, if I'm already in talking stage to you, with you, I'm already seeing you as my girl eventually. Oh, do you know what I mean? So I'm not seeing a difference per se. It's more of a kind of precautionary stage for me. So if you if you send me messages, I'm going to reply. I can't yeah. lie. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to wait. I mean, yeah, I don't get it. Why would I wait? I want to chat to you. You know what I mean? I want to talk to you. I want to like laugh with you. Odds are, I'm not doing anything. Do you know what I mean? Odds are, I'm at work. Or I'm doing, it, and I'd rather talk to you than do whatever I want to do. Bro, if you're if you're if you're if you're waiting, then are you really into it? Like, exactly. Are you really into it? Like, you're basically yeah. pretending. You're yeah. pretending. Hundred percent. So, so then from the beginning, you're doing the wrong move because you're not being yeah. yourself. If you mm. want to answer, go answer, show that your interest, mm. and then if okay. it don't work, then it doesn't, it wasn't meant to work from the beginning, right. simple. He's at work and he can't have his phone on him, like 100%. that's also a situation, like understand each other's situations, like so. if he's somewhere where his phone has no network and he again, he's let you know like, hey, by the way, I'm going to be out, I'm going to like, I'm not going to have my phone on me, I won't 100%. be able to reply to like late mm. tonight, like don't be messaging him during the whole day and be like, why aren't you messaging me, why, because you understand, he already mm. told you. Mm. There's no reply and just be like, oh yeah, like, what have you done today? Like, we haven't spoken today, but mm. and then the guy, then if you truly like interested in that girl, you hundred percent be like, oh, here's where I was today. Look, look at this. Mm. Or you kind of like show some evidence to back up what you said. Yeah. If they just like, oh no, I was doing this. They're just like, okay, well, yeah. then then he's yeah. not really. He's not on yeah. there. Yeah. I think from the girl's perspective, some girls they may like that guy chases after them, so they may mm. you know give them a while to reply to reply to them because they're like oh i want you to chase after me you know so mm. what do you think of that like playing hard to get from the girl side yeah i don't like playing games i won't mm. lie to you i mean i feel like again we're, we're going what 22 20 upwards 21 20 upwards i mean yeah. why, why are we playing games we're not even 18 years old you know what i mean if you like mm. me you like me and if we're trying to chat we're trying to chat if not then mm. with all due respect i'm trying to move on i've That's got stuff to do i've got my church peace. i've got my work do you know what i mean so i don't i don't like the whole playing games i feel like I've always heard about guys be like, oh yeah, don't be too much of a simp. Oh yeah, don't reply too fast. You're gonna seem like you're always available. Make yourself a bit more um, kind of wanted by the girl. Make the girl chase you. But it's like if you both like each other equally, there won't be any chasing per se involved. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're both yeah. on the same page. You're both like communicating. So, yeah. yeah. I feel like girls do that when they when they're unsure about the guys, so they want to mm -hmm. see what the guys like. If the yeah. guy is not showing you that, then putting you put him into a test. It's just like then you know then you shouldn't be there because it should come from him. It should come regardless from him. And then if he's not coming, you communicate it one yeah. time so he knows. And then after that, if he carry on, then the guy then he's not really interested. Mm -hmm. If anything, we'll just leave. Mm -hmm. if, I, if I see that you're playing games, I'm be like, alright, cool, in a bit. Yeah. Then you're not really into me. Mm -hmm. e yeah. Exactly. So then it's toxic I'm out. Yeah. from both sides. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. like. 
that's it. How long does it take you to realize you like a girl then? I know there's not a time stamp, yeah. but like, how long would it take you personally? Oh. I think I think on the first date, I would not. It would tell hundred percent. Hundred percent. If I want to see her again yeah. and again and planning future dates already in my head, then it's wraps. Like I'm I'm hooked already. Do you know what I mean? But I feel like after that, you got to take little precautions in it. Like you got to make sure where your head's at. Make sure it's not all like you're not feeling too. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Do you know what I mean? Like. Just take it again, look at your values, look at your morals, isn't it? Because anyone can have a good time with someone that isn't the one kind of thing, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you might think you like them, but it's just because you've ignored these certain red flags that we talked about before, isn't it? But yeah, from the first date, if it's if it's real, then boy, I'm there. How do you know if you are in love with a girl? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I like how Pam <laughs> just looks at JP like I mean, I'm looking at the mirror. Uh, he, he look at me and I'm looking there. Please go and help me this one. Hello, thank you. Um, I feel like um, when are you in love? I guess you like. I think people get it wrong. So when, from my experience, and again, as a Christian, um, you never really feel in love because like. You you feel you always feel some type of emotion that you're attracted to the person, mm -hmm. but I think like love is never like a feeling of like oh I'm in love. No, mm -hmm. you express it by saying that word. I mean I, I I'm in love or that phrase. I'm in love and saying to the person I love you, but really it's deep. It's, it's bigger than that because then it's like I mean I'm 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 deciding to love that person now. So mm -hmm. I'm deciding to act on what I'm feeling right now. And stick to it regardless of what happens. For some people I know in it, they can they can jump into a relationship, say they're in love, just to reap the benefits of a relationship. Mm. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? And it's it's again yeah. it's just it could just sound very toxic. If not if the foundations aren't right, do you know what I mean? Like you gotta make sure your foundations again, just how we said before, the morals, the ethics, the values, all of that comes into play in it. When you're in love, I feel like from a personal point of view, it's more of a when you find yourself having like compromising certain things mm -hmm. for this girl and you're like i would never do this for this for just like a normal person a normal friend do you know what i mean but you find yourself compromising and like you might get less irritable now and like certain like good qualities coming into your interplay do you know what i mean because i feel like if you're looking at a, a friend and you're like no this guy's definitely in love because all of a sudden he's being all lovey-dovey with his girl he's, he's doing like the random calls until like 1am when he's not jumping on PS4 like all of these things he's walking around the house hoovering him yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like he's like <laughs> clean this whole room for the first time yeah. Yeah, and like, you know, so i feel like those are like little signs that you are going in that path but again kind of how jp said love isn't necessarily just a feeling yeah, some people might say i'm not sure and some people might um, show it and not say it mm -hmm. so it just depends like what kind of like the love language is mm -hmm. and, and 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 knowing kind of like studying the reasons why that person would say it but not do it mm -hmm. and the person uh, or just seeing that oh there's that he's doing this and like like well like no, nobody has ever done this for me like no other guy and he's really committing and he's giving up on his like he's not going out to play football with his boys he's coming out with me like, <laughs> or like oh he he told his he told his group or his um, close friends about me like then and that's different like that yeah. that's it you're out there like he really cares for you who should say i love you first or does it matter does it matter does it matter no it, it's it it, yeah i feel like it will come when it comes. I feel like a lot of times you find yourself just accidentally saying it. Mm. Like you're just in a place and you're just like you're so happy and content with life in that moment because you're with your girl and it's like I love you, man. And I'm like, wait, hmm? what? wait, <laughs> wait, <laughs> just, wait, wait, <laughs> hold on, wait, go back, go back. <laughs> yeah. I, feel like, I feel like that's that's the most pure moment. I feel like. It's when it's in those blissful, blissful moments with your girl and mm -hmm. when you're just out doing whatever you're doing. It doesn't even have to be a date. You could be on your way to a motor, on the way to church, on the way to whatever. And just like, oh, I just, you just look at her and you're like, oh, I love you. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's one of those things. I feel like it's not, there's no time to it. And there's no one person that should say it first or the other. Well, that's the end. <laughs> it's like, interesting. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Pablo. Thank you, JP. And thank you, Isabella. Thank you, Val. <laughs> thank you, Val. <laughs> That's the end of asking guys questions that us girls wonder about. So if you guys want to do maybe guys asking girl questions that guys think about, make sure to email Voice of London and we can maybe do that for you. Bye. Bye, Ryan. Bye. God bless. Bye.